Hello beautiful people, like, share and subscribe. So the Borono State Government of Zulum, I used to like Zulum by the way, but I still don't understand some of these policies. And after I heard how much he pays teachers, I became disappointed in him, you know. And these days we don't even hear much about him again. Uh, so the Borono State Government has come out to say that they have released 8,490 Meta Boko Haram members and they release them into the public. You know, sometimes when I read all this type of news, I'm like, which kind of country are we in? You come and see some people say, I'm a proud Nigerian. I'm a proud Nigerian. They will open their brown seat and be say, I'm a proud Nigerian. What is proud about this news? Boko Haram, mo. Boko Haram that kill people. Now in uh, uh, Benue, I think about last two or three days, they killed 10 people. Yeah? And nobody's even doing anything. There's no uh, collective approach by the federal government to end this matter. You see, there's no plan. It's just like... People just keep on misbehaving and the government just keeps me because the people are well armed. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's just like this Biafra issue. The government have not developed a national plan to say, okay, how can we stop this thing? Do you understand what I'm saying? In other countries, that's what will be happening. But in Nigeria, it's a different ball game. You know, so it's I don't understand. Sometimes when you think about Nigeria, you just get so disappointed and be like, what is even happening? Do you understand? So if they release people into the society now. Are they going to give them jobs? Because I can bet you that poverty made many people to join Boko Haram, apart from religious um, ideologies. Poverty. Are they going to give them jobs? Are they going to... But why should you even give Boko Haram job when people that didn't join are jobless? Do you understand? Or give them loan for whatever, maybe farming or whatever. People that are not in Boko Haram are jobless. Another thing that makes me wonder, these numbers, how do they even get these numbers? Well, 8,000 is just too much. Now you're going to put them in the Nigerian army and before you know you send them to Enugu. There's one that came to a Nigerian Peter Boko and came to Enugu, killed his, uh, his you know, girlfriend or something. You understand? The story that made rounds. Where are you going to keep these people? Now you... you, you oh God. I just feel like if this book, repent, if you say they're repentant, then they must stay in Borono there. It's not the same Borono two weeks ago we saw about bomb blasts, two different bomb blasts that killed how many people? The country somehow just take it from me. If Boko Haram is up to eight thousand, are we not in a big problem? So I don't know. Nigeria is just is a crime scene, my brother. There is nothing to be proud. Nothing. This kind of news safe is nothing to be proud. In uh, there is this president of his El Salvador beauty prison. In a short span, the prison is full. Forty thousand inmates. Those inmates are building roads, bridges free of charge for the government they will just train them on some of these skills then they are doing it you understand what i'm saying uh, that's what repenter boko i'm supposed to do not to be in prison and be eating food you will feed them well i don't believe in violating prisoners right feed them well but they must work learn skills so that even if they come out even in the future that they come out then it can become useful to society eh? let me know your thoughts so if you're happy with this news